What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News. Now, last night episode of the Real Housewives of Atlanta was incredible. It was mellow. It was drama free. But I know you guys, you know, tune in for the drama and people screaming. So don't worry, you're gonna see it next week. But I love this recent episode. You know, for years I've been saying Kenya Moore is a sweet person, and Bravo basically was like, you know what? This is your job to be the villain. So you have to be the one to call people out and do this and do that. That's what we're paying you for. And being an incredible actress that she is, she was like, sure, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. But the reason why Kenya have amazing friendships off camera is because people know how sweet she is, how amazing she is, how loving and loving and caring she is. And that most of the time it's like, you know what, you came for me. I'm just responding to you. Now what? You know, what's good? You know what I'm saying? But I've always known that Kenya was this beautiful, kind-hearted, and amazing woman. And that just show just did everything in this power to make her to look like the bad guy. But this whole PSA, domestic violence, was beautiful. I love how everyone just came together, you know, excluding you-know-who for an amazing cause you know i'm very sorry to hear about you know Cynthia mother and everything that she went through you know and wow it was just a powerful powerful situation and then of course nini and portia still going back and forth and having their moments you know um What's the name? Milo tried to bring them together, you know, for some tea and to just talk and talk it out. And so that she doesn't feel divided like I have to pick a side and all of those things. But you know what? Hey, just leave those two alone. When they're ready to find their way back to each other, they will. Then, of course, you have Nene and Sheree going back and forth now because Sheree brought up Nene mugshot and talking about Nene's son getting arrested and all of that while she reposted her children's GB, her children's GPA. My hashtags threw me off because, you know, if you're talking about when you don't have a rebuttal, this is a rebuttal. This is a clapback, you know? This is, <laughs> you know, so I don't, I don't understand what Sheree is saying, but whatever the case, you know, might be, I hope these two, you know, the episode was very smooth, man. It's not, it wasn't a lot going on. It was all about the PSA and everything that Kenya is trying to do, you know, with and for women and for young women. All right. So the episode was also about Kenya. You know, it was Kenya moment. So let's go ahead and talk more about Kenya. Kenya posted this hand picture of she and her husband. And she, you know, posted, did night with Bay. Okay. I don't... <laughs> oh, this whole God bless attitude thing that, you know joining them on being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation it really prevents me from getting into all of this social media back and forth i don't comment on other people's pages i stay on my page to avoid you know all of the toxic things that go on on social media because you know oh don't have a different opinion than somebody else they're coming for your head and you know what I don't need to um, tarnish my spirit with any of that. So I just stay on my page and I just post on my page where I have the control to block and delete people if I don't want to see something. But it takes less than a minute, honestly, to quickly scroll down someone's social media page on your smartphone. If you're slow, probably a little over a minute. So when Kenya posted this picture and you have people who have access to her page writing comments like, oh my God, after all this time, we still haven't seen the face picture. You are still posting just a hand picture. You and this fake marriage. So I go down Kenya page and I'm like, what do you mean? Are you talking about this one? Or you missed this one? Oh, what about this picture right here? Oh, okay, this one. Like, the woman have all of these pictures on her page with her husband, his face wide and open, on with the Christmas tree and everything else. Like, what are wrong with these people? The common people pages 
see one picture and leave a comment like if you're gonna investigate somebody life and have something to say at least go down the entire page and if you don't have the time to do that then don't make your stupid comment it's like let this woman live my god the thought process that this beautiful woman cannot get to keep a man is so fascinating to me like i don't understand these people i don't understand <laughs> And that's why I just steal my page. Honestly, that's why I just steal my page. And, you know, I have the blog and all that stuff. So if I want to compliment a celebrity and be in the corner, then I post about it. Then I talk about it, you know, on my channel here or on the Instagram page. And that's, that's what I do. I, I could because, man, I will be going back and forth. And I don't do the back and forth thing, you know. I'm the queen of blog delete or have a nice day. God bless you. That's... That's what I be on. I don't be on all that, you know, back and forth stuff. But anyways, Kenya, continue to enjoy your marriage, you know, and all of that. And there's a second obsession about Kenya more. The first one I've been about her marriage all season long. Oh, my God, is she really married? Is it real? All this crap about Kenya. Now the next obsession is, is she pregnant? Or oh, I heard you're pregnant with twins and all of these different speculations. Uh, she and Cynthia we're at the growing up hip hop, I guess, Atlanta um, version of franchise season two premiere. They look beautiful as usual. And Cynthia um, posted this image right here of them at dinner with the caption, look who I bumped into last night, just all happy and glowing. And then that hand. So of course people, People be, being so desperate for, is Kenya more pregnant? She's going to confirm, start saying, hmm, Cynthia is sending out hints, the word bump and then glowing. I'm like, calm down, people. She just simply said she ran into her, she bumped into her friend and her friend is glowing. But people are all dissecting that. That's a hint. The fact that Kenya, uh, Cynthia wrote bum, that means Kenya is definitely pregnant and glowing. And that uh, Kenya have the pregnant lady face. Uh, whatever the case might be, whether Kenya is pregnant or not, if she is, congratulations. You know, whatever that happens in Kenya's life, I'm just happy for her that she's fun. You know, happiness all around. One of the reasons why I admire Kenya is because she's always been happy and confident within who she is. You know, she never used a relationship or a man as if, like, that was, like, all of it the way how the other women constantly said i got a man you didn't have a man that just show insecurity and insecurities and people who don't have self-esteem because your relationship your man is like i don't know how many times i have to say this but it's like a luxury being added in your life it's not a completion you should love yourself complete yourself have confidence within yourself and be happy within yourself and understand your self-worth Whoever else come along your journey, they just add into that happiness. Your entire life should not revolve or depend on a man being in there. Because it's like, then why are women marching for equality and, you know, equal pay and all of these things if when they turn around and behave like without a man, life stops. The way how they used to come at this woman, oh, you ain't got a man, I have a husband, Phaedra. <laughs> She used to drag that husband, right? And then look, she doesn't have one. But the thing is, you've never heard Kenya say, I got a man and you don't. Because Kenya knows having a man does not define a woman. Kenya could be throwing it in the face right now. I have a husband. Where's your husband? Where's your this? You guys clown me. But she knows having a man does not define who you are as a a woman let me repeat that women we are strong we are intelligent we are everything and anyone else being thrown in that mix and being added it's an added blessing it's a bonus it's not a completion so stop attacking each other and placing a man on the pedestal as if having a man means you want some type of victory no <laughs> because when that man is removed now who, who are you are you worthless no i even uh, talked about this in one of the last videos i uploaded about them about portia portia have accomplished more by herself than she did when she had a man and a husband <laughs> in her life she didn't have all these businesses and all this stuff going on and all the type of money she had when she had the husband she's doing everything by herself right without the husband 
know, whatever people feel like, oh my God, you know, it's not by herself. She got people on the side. She's doing this. I'm not going to get into what that lady's doing because, you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm just going to stick to being positive and not go down that road or judge her or throw stuff on her name. That I don't know about. I'm just saying stop attacking each other as if like not having someone else next to you mean that you're worthless because that's not the case but Kenya is glowing I will say that she looks beautiful and of course Cynthia is absolutely stunning as well beautiful ladies so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here my friend I love I'm wishing you all an amazing day remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing a good in every situation have a great day guys God bless you.